over on that far side now for Regula. I think it was 2-1 at the time, early in the second period. Regula gets it back. It was just like an innocent looking play. A freak accident occurred. Alec Regula drops it off. Here goes Gruden, right to the net. At first, you didn't quite know what was happening. You could tell uh, there was a problem with Tucker. He couldn't stand up. Right to the goal was Skinner, and he crashed into Tynan, and Tynan is down uh -huh. right now. It's like those plays happen four or five times a game, and it's just unfortunately that, you know, the one time it happened, it happened like that. Just from my angle, I really couldn't see too, too well. Jody Hall, he saw it. He yelled, like, get out there kind of thing, and then it was on his right leg on the inside of his leg and he was face down. So I went around his right side, towel right to the leg, what I could see and just applied pressure there. We applied the tourniquet on him. Our uh, on-site EMS came out, called the ambulance. You could hear a pin drop in a sold out uh, 5300 seat arena. Then it started to realize something w w was very wrong. When a hush has fallen over the crowd here in Niagara. Everybody's worried about the safety and the health of Tucker Tynan right now. Outstanding job, obviously, by both trainers on both teams, EMS in the building. Tucker Tynan is now being escorted in a stretcher off the ice. After the incident, guys were, you know, couldn't wait to get over to the hospital, uh, do anything they could, contact Tucker's family. We spent the night with uh, with Tucker and his mom uh, and the Villa family at the hospital last night, and, and certainly has been a trying, uh, you know, day for us, uh, but certainly, you know, the worst is behind us, and, and we're looking forward to working together and, and moving forward here. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, everyone that was involved in truly saving Tucker Tynan's life, thank you. It's obviously a big thing to have some support too. It's just not even just our team, like the league in general, then just like the hockey community overall is awesome to see. I spoke to a couple of doctors, they're like, you know, you might not be able to play again, you might not be able to work out full strength. I just said, I'm like, I don't know, like I'll, I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that doesn't happen. So I, you know, I spoke to a couple of their doctors and then after, you know, after it only took like three or four months. Good save. Almost back to, back to normal skating and you know then there was like the process of rebuilding strength and then just kind of went from there. The first thing was just getting strength back you know let alone any goaltender specific movements when you have a cut that deep and that bad I mean it was getting the muscle back to form first and, and being able to walk and stand up and touch your toes before you could do anything. Everything how it transpired you know how I you know just kind of come back from it I think that's the biggest thing you know it's obviously it's adversity you know it's uh, I think that's the biggest thing it was definitely a big learning experience too. And I think it's just, uh, just happy to be here, you know, just move forward. His mental strength, his desire, his, his drive, his will to succeed, um, you know, nothing's going to deny this kid. And it's just, it's just a speed bump. It's just adversity for him. He, he handles it like it's, uh, you know, like it's a sprained ankle. I want to be the best goalie in the league, do whatever I can to reach that. I feel like the mental aspect, you know, I've had the opportunity to skate with a bunch of, you know, pretty good NHL guys. And I think the mental aspect has definitely gotten a lot better and that's going to be a really big thing moving forward. I think get a little bit more flexible and then I think I'll be back to even better than I was before. He's a champion and uh, you know he, he certainly wants it and uh, appears to be ready to uh, you know to get back to where he was and then hopefully uh, get beyond that.